Bump Love is brought to you by Nutri makes us strong and healthier. Strong like a superhero. Yes, son. Every spoonful of Nutri comes loaded with the necessary vitamins, protein and minerals for you and your family to become healthier and stronger. Pick up a pack today from your nearest store. Nutri, every spoonful counts. Hello and welcome to Bump Love. As moms, we often complain about children that are picky eaters or binge eaters. And we spare a thought today for a parent that is dealing with children suffering with eating disorders. Today we discuss eating disorders and joining us on the show is Nagai Jema Awoma. She's a clinical nutritionist and dietitian at UMC Victoria Hospital and IHK. She's also, <laughs> oh yes, she's yeah. a mom too, so it's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much ladies for hosting me today. A <laughs> uh, pleasure is ours. So my first question to you is, are eating disorders common in Uganda here? Yeah, um, the trend is growing mm. because we are moving more to the Western culture, mm. okay, compared to years ago uh, our kids are now being exposed to western cultures even uh, when you look at the schools yeah. international schools the settings yeah. and also the knowledge yeah. uh, our kids are having yeah. is actually the same as the child in america yeah. the child in any other uh, country with high prevalence of eating disorders so research is showing that in africa the uh, data about the eating disorders is just coming up okay because also the development is just coming up but it's showing that it is increasing steadily increasing and also we are i think a global village we are becoming a global village yeah. so the the things that affect the western world equally affect yeah. us and also nowadays we see our children spending holidays in america yeah. yes, yes. and then coming back yeah. so it is common yeah. nowadays and it is growing and it should be yeah. Uh, brought to light. Yeah. Yes. Just to add on quickly, cartoon. Mm. What they see on cartoon. Yeah. Mm. Can I eat us? Uh, yeah, yeah. What they see. They see burger. We are doing this. Burger, it's exactly yeah. what they also. And actually, they ask for that. Yes. So most times we thing. look for that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We want to make them happy. Yeah, I want to make them happy. So, I should say it's a growing trend. And we have to, to, to bring it to light and people have to know about it and then uh, notice it if it's there. Yeah. Yes. I must say that when we were planning to discuss this conversation, I was like, but that is a rich people problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Yes. I don't know if you knew, I mean, but it's... it's, it's people are rich. People are, people are becoming yeah. rich. <laughs> yes, people are becoming rich, really. Yeah. And yeah. then now, take an example. I'm just giving another example. Things like obesity yes. or overweight. Yes. Uh, they used to be in the Western yeah. world. Yes. But now we are now, seeing oh that yes, they are the same. Yeah. yeah, so uh, an eating disorder, sometimes it's not about rich or poor, oh, yeah. but mm -hmm. culture, mm -hmm. the information yes. at hand. Yes how people see others, yes. body image. Yes. So uh, you find out that even if someone is in a rental, they have a phone, yes. they have yes. internet, oh, our yes. kids have internet, mm. they are exposed. Yes. So what's going on in their minds, yes. it's actually the same yes. as the person, as, as someone who is rich, rich. or someone oh, yes. in the US. Mm. Yes. All right, um, so maybe talk to us about what causes eating disorders. You've sort of hinted on it, uh, body image, things along those lines, mm -hmm. but what causes eating disorders? Yeah, maybe we, we can say what are eating disorders. Fast. We'll start Actually, there. I think, yeah, I think mm. you see, yes. and so this is the thing, when we're first in introducing this one, speaking about it mm. as, um, as the host, we were a little bit confused, like we literally had to go back and do some research to yeah. find out what uh, what 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 is what do you call an eating disorder yes. so maybe you should you can take us through mm. like what really what are, are what are the what types are, of disorders yeah, yeah. yeah. so generally mm. eating disorders these are abnormal eating habits mm. or okay. eating patterns that impact negatively on the health of someone <coughs> or livelihood or 
these unhealthy eating habits interfere with your daily work okay. or daily uh, for example if it's children these habits are interfering with their academic excellence yeah. they are interfering with their social being and interaction so these are habits that are negatively impacting uh, your your life or the life of the child they are habits even if you're eating a fruit and it is negatively impacting uh, the life, uh, for example, if it's the child and it's negatively impacting the child, mm. you know, then that is a disorder that is because it is bringing a negative impact on uh, either the physical, psychological, or social, you know, social being of a child. Yeah. So what are the more common ones that the most people common would identify? Uh, they are they are extreme mm. okay. you know eating disorders are mental illnesses okay. yeah they are categorized as mental illnesses mm. because they are mostly in the in mind, the mind. Okay. and they are false most mm. of the times so the most common ones um one of them is anorexia nervosa mm. okay. anorexia is mostly common with children uh, teenagers Okay. Yeah. Puberty, when puberty sets in mm -hmm. and uh, young women mostly, even men, but women are twice more affected oh, than okay. the men yeah. okay. or than the boys. Girls are more affected than the boys. Okay. So anorexia is a condition where a child or any adult perceives them, sees themselves as thin, mm. okay. no matter their size. Okay. Or no matter what they are eating, they constantly see when they look in when they look in the mirror, what they see is small. Okay. Okay. Even if they are healthy weight, they feel they are fat. Even if they are fat, they see they are fat. Even if they reach their target weight, they see like they are still small. So they keep going, keep okay. going. And then in turn they affect it's affecting their mental, mental health mm. and also their physical health. Yeah. For example, if it's a teenager, mm. uh, maybe uh, 12 years old, mm. this person, if this person started periods, sometimes they, they, they go away. They, they no longer get yeah. periods. So it affects their It's affecting system. their system, yeah. okay? okay? Yeah. So that's anorexia. Like so anorexia someone, is desire to be small. Yes, that someone is obsessed shown. with being small. small. And in that, that person is eating very little. Yeah. Or that person is um, vomiting whatever oh, they are. When they eat. Yes, yeah. because anorexia has sub... Uh, small sections. Like someone can eat very little or someone can eat and and vomit Throw it out on. or someone will exercise too much you know even our children nowadays they mm. have access to the genes yeah. yes. they have access to workouts yeah. so this girl is 15 but you see she's always you know if she misses a workout it's like the oh world. my the world goodness is the over. world has <laughs> ended yeah. oh, so no. anorexia and you're seeing they are small mm. So anorexia, this person is obsessed with being so small mm. and also they are eating so little and exercising too, too, too much. much. Yes. Mm. Okay. So that is anorexia. And how maybe, okay, sorry, should I it's first okay. no, list all the, yes, yes, all yeah, the, yeah, okay. or I can mix a list and signs and symptoms all together? Uh, should I first list them? Then we shall see how to identify yes 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 we'll talk about how to identify them. each of them yes. yes okay so the second one is called bulimia mm. okay bulimia this person eats a lot a lot mm. mm -hmm. and after eating remember this is mental mm. yes when they feel satisfied they are like no I have to be small, but I've eaten. So they'll go and force themselves to vomit. Oh, oh whatever. that's bulimia. Yes. So with anorexia, this person mostly eats very little, little. and works out so, so much. Mm. With bulimia, actually, someone eats uncontrollably. Mm. They eat, they eat like your home. Uh, the, your, teen, your teen is eating normally. After, they, they walk quietly, go in the bathroom, bathroom. and they'll yeah. vomit everything yeah. up. Wow. Yes. And then they'll be like, okay, I you know, better. yes. Mm -hmm. Because they have guilt every time. Oh my goodness, it's going to affect. Mm -hmm. So with bulimia, uh, a child can be underweight or normal weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yes, because when you vomit, you sometimes uh, you don't vomit everything. everything. Yeah. Yes. So you just keep enough. Yes. Mm. So That's sometimes nice. the child can be healthy mm. weight, but other times they can be underweight. Weight. Yes. Mm. So that is really about bulimia and then bulimia also brings things like um the teeth you know every time you vomit this mm. person vomits mm. almost oh, every meal yeah. or ev actually every meal oh, so most times they get dental issues mm. and also sometimes they get ulcers okay okay mm. sometimes so they, they get force themselves to vomit they i used force. to see girls in school uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah there's you know yeah i've been yeah. told about I this i saw girls that used to force themselves used to, to food. vomit after meals yeah. i think they had that yes they, well. they do have and then obviously they deny because this is a mental issue yeah. mm. they always deny and they think it's better mm. that way you yeah. know they choose the safer yeah. path yeah. okay so most of these people get ulcers some of them get a condition called guard gastroesophageal reflux. Mm. Reflux. Eh? Mm -hmm. They get a lot of heartburn. Sometimes they get a lot of dental issues. Sure. Okay. Yes. So bulimia is also there. You, your child comes during meal times. They eat. Mm. Yeah. But immediately but you don't know what's after eating, after. they go to the, to the bathroom. 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 And force it out. Yes, and force it out. But you know, it's something I've always wanted to ask. Yeah. Why is it that... Um, so this is something I've had with my son mm. to test his hunger. My child mm. oh, thinks he's constantly hungry. <laughs> but also, also the gender is not really the issue, but also the age that he's in. Yeah. So that age where he really, where really, he really wants to eat. Mm. So I, because I'm not sure where he should start and where he should stop, I always tell him, okay, if you've said you're hungry, you have a plate of rice and beans. Let me make for you portion and beans. And beans yes. Then Daniel says, ah, okay, it's okay, ma'am, it's <laughs> fine. So I tell him, if you don't want the portion and beans, it means you're not hungry. You're not hungry. Your mouth is the one that just wants yes. something. If I oh, give him chips and bag, he will eat. Yes. Yeah. So I tell him, you must test yourself. If I test, if I give it, so why is it that these binge eaters, it, I would think that it's maybe an issue that they have a bottomless pit. They just constantly want to eat. So anything should go. Why is it that it's always those the unhealthy, unhealthy thing, junk yeah. that you they know, are picking those, and those eating? Those foods, we call them rewarding Reward foods. Food. And they react ne differently from the vegetables. <laughs> That's why every time <laughs> you, you eat... You told me to eat a bucket. I was yeah. like, go on. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> when you eat sweets, yes. uh, your body wants more. Mm. When you chocolate. eat yeah, chocolate, your body, your body wants, wants more. more. So yeah. it, they, 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 they react differently. Like mm. they tell their body different things. Thing. Those, those are called happy foods. Food, happy food. yeah. Comfort you know, foods. Comfort mm. foods. Mm. They do taste good. So, <laughs> so we, should not, uh, we should not use them for different um, mm. purposes. For example, if your child is, 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 what? is fat or you think your child is overweight, mm. You should not over criticize the chips. Yes. Tell oh, them the truth yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. These foods have to be eaten, but it is not in moderation. Yeah, in yeah. you shouldn't have it like daily, yes. daily, daily. Yes. But most people put this fear, you know, as children. Whenever you refuse a child something, yes. mm. they want it even more. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. True. Even so adults. Most, yeah, even <laughs> adults. <laughs> really. So most times with binge eaters. Mm. Some ah, of I them see. you may the not, some of them you, but we have to remember that these disorders are mental. mental first. Okay. Yeah. Okay? okay. These are mental. They are not physiological that the mm. body is hungry. Mm. No. These are, these, these, these come from the mind. Mm. Okay. The child is feeling low. Yes. For example, yes. and they go and eat. These are comfort They're looking for comfort. They, they are looking for something, you know? To feel that. To, to feel yeah. good. Yeah. This, this child has been bullied. Uh, the parents are fighting. Yes. So this person is using the wrong way to I manage see. whatever they are dealing, dealing with. with. Yeah. Okay. It's their dealing mechanism. Yeah, it's their dealing mechanism. Most times. Okay. So we shouldn't uh, confuse it with the natural hunger. hunger. Yeah. Okay. Generally, overweight children eat more. Overweight people, your body Gen demands, demands more. more. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have a small child and a relatively... Uh, Child, child, you child. will notice a difference, mm. but in this case, it is not about that. It is not mm. about that. This person is dealing with something yes. behind. Yes. Probably, I've, I've, uh, I get mothers who tell me, My goodness, I think my boy needs a diet. Mm. Mm. And you know, these kids, whenever I tell them, 
I'm going to put you on a diet. They are like, oh my, my goodness. God. So you're going to bring your weight loss diet mm. full of juices <laughs> and whatever. And you're child, going to give child. it to this child. Poor child. What it does to this, this child may get depressed. Yeah. This child is seeing the others when they go out once in a while they're taking ice cream. You're taking them, no, no don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this thing, it's affecting them negatively yeah. somehow. Yeah. They are feeling, sometimes you make them feel like they can't control themselves. So these things mostly, these yeah. disorders in particular, they are mental. Yeah. Yes. So we have to know that if your child has that, mm. you should know there is something yeah. hidden. Do you know there are kids who eat no. almost anything they find, even when they are like 10 this. and 11? The person who look at such a thing and taste it, a stone and taste it. So the, the problem, mouth. yes, the problem with, with Pika is that this person, this child may get poisoned. Yeah. This person, yes. So Pika is also, sometimes it's due to, to micronutrient deficiencies like yeah. iron. Yeah. So this, this, this child will want chalk, this child will want a lot of paper, but it's good to, to also know mm, that yes. also that one is it's there. there. Mm. So that if you see such a thing in your yeah. child, then you can dig deeper to see if it's yeah. really an issue. Yeah. This happens when, when, when children are young, but it should, uh, it should they fade, should they it. should outgrow yeah. it. Yeah. But if someone it's there, it it's there. Someone when they are annoyed, they just get a, a cup of a pen and and you know, <laughs> yes, or oh, chalk. Yeah. So this is also um, not good. Pika, Pika, that's a new one. I Pika. Know. Mm. I it's know. mostly common in pregnancies, yeah. but also mm. research is showing that it's also there. You in know, children. these are lucky yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. But if you find a parent with it, at least they should. Really Do you think know. that it's related that if you had that those deficiency when you were when, when you were pregnant, pregnant mm. that they may your child, your child might maybe that. That need because I, I honestly believe that all those um, desires are deficiencies. Yes. So, do you, is there any correlation between the mother having those deficiencies and having that picker and the child no. that they give birth to after? Or oh, they are two unrelated issues. Yes, this one is a mental issue. Also, this is mental. Yes, now. it is okay. not physiological okay. that your body okay. is lacking something okay. though what i want us to know with pika is that sometimes this child may be iron deficient yeah. okay, Just sometimes. okay? Sometimes. yes sometimes. that is why when you notice that the first thing you do take them and they you know they, they have a blood checkup yeah, yeah. if you find that this child is normal the hemoglobin levels are normal, normal. then there you go you know you go into more depth Okay. Yeah. What the issue yeah, is? Yeah, what the issue is? Okay. Yes. Remember, some of them are coping mechanisms. Oh yes. Hmm? yes coping mechanism. Yes. This person will be chewing on chalk. Mm. You know. Because it brings yeah. them some sort of comfort or relief. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. relief yeah. mentally. Yeah. They feel okay. Mm. They've abused them. They will chew their paper. Bam. We yeah. had kids who used to chew paper at school mm. alone. Yes. Yeah. You will find oh, the whole book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that the, the wow. tied up the whole book. Yeah. So another one is like restrictive food intake disorder mm. or avoidant food intake disorder. This one, this child doesn't like certain colors of food, certain smells of food, yeah. without any, uh, even certain tastes of food. Yeah. And also with this one, we should know that we have our uh, favorites in food. Yes. But when you're in an environment, for example, you're in China, where you can't get what you want. Yes. If hunger strikes you, you can eat whatever, whatever is there. Yes. But with these people, they'll stay hungry. hungry. Oh, Lord. <laughs> wow. Because what they want is not Because, there. yes, that color. Mm -mm. Mm. You know, whenever someone, for example, is too picky, or complains about something. Most times it is something mental. Yeah. If there's someone who always complains, oh my goodness, I don't like this, I don't like... Most mm. times it's either low self-esteem mm. or they're fighting with something. Yeah. So these kids, mm. for them, kids some, and most of them go into teenagers. Teenagers are yes. at most yes. risk yes. of these yeah. disorders. Yeah. When puberty sets in, yes. we... we all of us know that they change. Yes. They start making up, they start eating yeah. like this. So teenagers really, um, we have to pay more attention, attention to them. Yeah. Okay? So these people, they, 
They said this thing smells bad, bad. for me. Mm. I don't like the smell of onions. I don't like this. And <laughs> they will throw even tantrums mm. or they will refuse to eat food mm. because they have put on onions. onions. And this thing is going on. This thing is going on. Mm. It's affecting them. It's becoming an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Once in a while when some... Okay, w there are some people who don't like onions. Yes. But you can pick them out of the food and eat. Yes. These people will choose not to they eat the food eat because they have they seen onions some food. There. Yes. So the, this uh, this disorder is making them malnourished yeah. or is depriving them of crucial nutrients, nutrients. Yes. like for example iron yeah. or the vitamin C. Mm. Because this person doesn't like the color orange. Yes. Yeah. Get vitamin yeah. C comes in orange. Yeah. So <laughs> anything mm. orange. They will they will not eat. Yes. Mm. Yet a child can be like, I don't like oranges, but they will like carrots. Yeah. You know that's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. So th this disorder has patterns. Someone gets something they hold on to. Mm. Okay. Mm. And many children have this because as we said earlier, we are going into the Western, yeah. you know, world culture. Mm -hmm. Even the restaurants nowadays, the menus mm -hmm. uh, are really Western. Mm -hmm. So these issues, we have to know them and identify, yes. and identify wow. them really. Yeah. There's a last one. It's really research is just um, it has just started. Mm -hmm. It's called rumination. Uh, you know, when kids are younger, when Babies, they always like gargle milk and then oh, chew yeah, it and yeah. swallow it. Oh, not babies, they do, they you know. Chew. Yes, <laughs> they, they chew or they, they yeah, they sort of chew and then okay, they, they yes. swallow whatever has come up. But these people, it keeps on, and time reaches when they do it intentionally. Mm. And when they do it, some of them spit the food out, mm. and others swallow it back. So, these are habits. Sometimes you can even miss them, but believe me, the people who have them know no, that they, they do, do have, have them, them. Yeah. or the parents who have seen, they can yeah. identify. Yeah. So some of these disorders, someone will be like, oh my goodness, I've never had yes, because you've never experienced yeah. or you don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's showing that this one, most of the times there's a, a mental disorder, like you can easily see. Mm -hmm. You can easily see mm -hmm. this person is obsessed with something. So research is showing that there are few people, but it's, it's there. It's there. Mm -hmm. yes. So we have to pay mind. Yeah, so those are some of the um, mm, wow. disorders that we can wow. see in our children yeah. and teenagers and young adults. Yeah. Mostly uh, it's in women, but it's just twice in women as men. That's so amazing. even in men, they are there, the mm -hmm. boys. Because nowadays there's this thing of abs, you know, a, a child is yes. 10 years, but is doing an ab workout. Yes. Do you know? Yes. 14 teenagers. Yes. And Seven. yeah, because on TikTok, okay, personally I follow TikTok. <laughs> most of these healthy trends, you find them in teenagers. Yes. yes. They are the ones who are dieting the yes. most. You know, the child has not yet started their periods and they have already started dieting. Oh, wow. You know, they already they already want that mm. way. So most times they <laughs> deprive their bodies of those nutrients and they may delay their periods. Yeah. Or if their periods have started, they'll stop. Yes, sure. And also things like anorexia, they, they bring heart failure. Mm. Because this person becomes small, the organs also, you know, they become small. Mm. And some of them are even taken to ICU and they put in tubes. So they can wow. be fed. So they can because this person cannot eat wow. they oh they cannot oh mentally they're like no i'm going to become fat oh my yes. goodness yes so those are a few uh i should say types mm. mostly yes. the most common so um first of all i thought that the <laughs> i think the only common examples of eating disorders were the binge, binge eating, eating and the and but you have really educated us yeah. um let's talk a bit about the causes could you just summarize for us what causes yeah. eating disorders yeah one of them is genetics research is showing that most mothers who are obsessed with food and body shape mm. most of the time they are children. children so most times genetics is crucial if you if, if the parent you know that you have You're issues aware. sometimes it may not be food mm -hmm. but behavior you know you have anxiety mm -hmm. sometimes it's good to, to to find a way to to help your child cope with some of these things yes. another thing are cultures mm -hmm. 
different cultures reward different uh, sizes. Mm. Okay. You know, like mm. most of the Western world, mm -hmm. when someone is small, then that means they have self-control. Sure. That means they, they have achieved. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you find uh, maybe that the, the child does well in class, other things, but because the child is fat, mm. the child is seen as a, a failure. failure. Yeah. Yes. So they see themselves as, as a, a failure. failure. Yeah, actually. Mm. Yes, the culture. Okay, the culture. Yeah. Uh, you, yes. you know, some people, yes, the yes, fact yes. that they are fat, they're like, you're fat, there's nothing you can tell mm. us. Yeah. You mm. know? Yes. yes. It is Lately, true. Actually, Lately, actually. Yeah. Lately, if someone... If you can't control your health. Your, 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 <laughs> It means you can't control most of the other things. Exactly. So that's what I've, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. That's what so, I've heard. So yeah. culture is really uh, what people are attaching to body okay. shape mm. and different. Okay. It's affecting okay. people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's affecting people and also family, parents. Mm. Most of the times this thing comes from, from you know, within. yeah, from, from within. within. That's true. Yeah, parents also, you, you know, cause this. Yeah. yeah. They compare among children. Yeah. You're the fat one, she's the small one. You eat mm. a lot, this, this, this and that. Yeah. And also the most common thing which is social media. Yeah, yeah you know, that one. that one is very common. Mm. So these are most of the causes of what? Oh, eating disorders. Eating disorders. Pressure, that pressure. pressure. For example, yeah. the child wants to be a model. Because the child wants to be a model, they fail to get healthier ways to maintain a healthy size. So they resort oh. to that. Yes, they resort to that. Yeah. For sure, some people want to be models. Mm. Because the person wants to be a model, mm. they are obsessed with being thin. Yes. Yeah. So even if they go to a doctor, or even if they meet the criteria for being a model, yeah. they feel They're like, no, I should be. Yeah. If, if I'm thin, it will be better. Because this thing I'm is thin. always yeah, false. This person thinks, but when it is really not, yeah. not true. Not like you tell them you're small, you're enough, they're like, uh, no, uh, I don't uh, believe uh, uh, you. Yeah, <laughs> and that is why it's most common in the Western world. In yeah. the African world, because our culture doesn't, uh, wasn't rewarding yes. being, being small. small. Yes. Yes. Uh, most times uh, it would just, it, it was not common. But because people are If anything, are it was the exact opposite. opposite. I remember for the longest time, yes. Yes. if anything, would reward bigger yeah, people. Bigger yeah. People. yeah. Think that they are rich, that they is are confident, why, exactly. they have money. You know, that is why some exactly. people, uh, some people so eat a lot. the small people, we didn't get self-esteem <laughs> problems. <laughs> Us, we didn't have problems. The no, they abuse people. us. They used to abuse us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 so small. No, but I, I really get for food. I, I really get. Free. So cultures are affecting. Social media is affecting. Also, parents at home. Oh, yeah, the yeah. psychological torture some people give to kids. Yes. Yeah. Genetics. So you, you, you mentioned okay. in passing. I think things like when parents are going through a divorce or yes. like tragedies Coping. in homes. Yes, Coping tragedies in parents. homes. Yeah. Most times, most times yeah. it affects. Uh, mm -hmm. children when it gets to a child where uh, they don't know how to cope with it some of them will binge it mm, yeah. some of them will not eat some of them will want to make themselves perfect mm -hmm. you know the so in that way falling around yeah. me yes. yes. yeah. 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 like so those are some of the uh, little maybe causes but mm -hmm. mostly it's environmental, environmental. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also genetics a little bit. Oh, wow, that was quite insightful. Thank you for educating us on that, Gemma. At least we now have an idea of this whole eating disorder thing. Mm. So when we come back, she will talk to us about how to identify and just to know if they are treatable. The show is in partnership with Nutri. It has a wide range of porridge flowers that are just rich in so many vitamins and minerals to give you energy that you need all day long. Nutri, every spoonful counts. With love from Bamf Love. <laughs> Bump Love was brought to you by Nutri makes us strong and healthier. Strong like a super easy. Yes, son. Every spoonful of Nutri comes loaded with the necessary vitamins, protein and minerals for you and your family to become healthier and stronger. Pick up a pack today from your nearest store. Nutri, every spoonful counts.